Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time. Today's movie recap will be an adventure, drama, and horror movie from 2021 called Row 19. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. Blaine is flying through a really bad storm late at night. A woman and her seven-year-old daughter, Katya, who just woke up from a nap, are on the plane. The mom tells Katya that they'll be there soon and to go back to sleep. The plane could be more full, and an older couple is sitting behind them. Despite the storm, things are going smoothly. Suddenly, the older man faints, causing everyone to panic. Katya wakes up to hear the wife calling for help and notices her mom isn't in her seat. While looking for her mom, an announcement says they'll be landing in a city called Novosibirsk. Then Katya hears a strange voice, turns around and sees an old woman murdering something in a language she doesn't quite understand, almost like she's casting a spell. The old woman looks at her with completely white eyes. Katya gets scared and turns away. The plane starts to shake violently, catches fire, and crashes into a forest. Katya is the only one who makes it out alive, even though she's hurt. The crash is big news, and everyone is talking about how Katya was the only one to survive. No one knows why the plane crashed until 20 years later. Katya, now grown up and a psychologist, has learned to deal with what happened. She lives with her daughter, Diana. The next evening, Katya and her daughter, Diana, get on a plane to visit Katya's dad in Tomsk. A big snowstorm has caused many flights to be canceled, and theirs is the last one leaving. Only a few people are on the plane with them. An older couple named Evgeny and Galina, a businessman named Nikolay, who thinks highly of himself, a quirky guy called Pavel, and a nice man named Alexei, sitting near Katya and Diana. There are two flight attendants, Inessa and Tatiana. Galina is afraid of flying, so Katya helps her relax and gives her some pills to ease her stress. But soon Katya starts feeling a bit anxious too, showing she's still a bit scared from before. She goes to the bathroom to calm down. Opening the door, she finds herself looking at her old home, but she can't find her mom anywhere. Opening another door, she's suddenly back on the plane. Katya goes back to her seat, finding Alexi and Diana getting along well, and the plane takes off into the cold wind. Katya, Diana, and the other passengers fall asleep. Suddenly, a red light and many bloody hands appear outside the plane window, but everyone's asleep and doesn't see them. The flight attendants are awake, but don't react. Katya dreams about dinner with her mom three months after the crash, getting annoyed when Katya asks why she's still alive. In the dream, she hears the squeaking of leg braces and sees her mom turn into the scary old woman from the previous plane. When Katya wakes up, the red light and hands are gone, but the plane hits turbulence. Galena and Diana get scared, but Alexei reassures Diana it'll pass soon. Suddenly, Evgeny feels dizzy and faints. Galena calls for help, and everyone rushes to him. Katya and Alexei try CPR, and it seems to work when Evgeny starts moving. But shockingly, his eyes turn white, and he grabs Katya, whispering unknown words. Katya thinks Evgeny is acting just like the old woman from her past and might be under her control, trying to send a message. While everyone is trying to help Evgeny during his seizure, Katya notices a dark shadow moving from a seat. Evgeny then passes out again, and Anessa finds he has no pulse and says he's dead. Just as Galena starts to mourn, the plane shakes harder because the storm gets worse. Everyone panics when the oxygen masks drop. Tatiana tries to help Diana, who's away from the group, but ends up getting hurt and faints. Katya, hearing Diana scream, remembers the plane crash from her past and sees a brief vision involving the old woman. She snaps back to the present and rushes to Diana, promising to stay by her side. She suggests Diana draw something happy to feel better. Alexei helps Tatiana after they argue about the chaos. The group moves Evgeny to the back seats. Katya confesses to Alexei that she feels responsible for everything. She shares her belief that the old woman caused the previous crash and survived only to come back and finish something with Katya. Alexei, trying to be rational, thinks there are logical explanations for the turbulence in Evgeny's death. Katya, hurt by Alexei's skepticism, leaves him and offers her sympathy to Galena, inviting her to sit with her and Diana. However, Galena chooses to stay by her husband's side. Katya goes back to her seat and Diana shows her a drawing she made that's supposed to be happy. In the picture, they are sitting in row 19, which Diana pretends is their special spot, even if it's not theirs. 
Katja notices earlier that Alexei seemed nervous. His hands were shaking. When she asks him about it, he tells her about a past accident he survived while working as a correspondent. Katja feels sorry for him and shares that she thought she heard her mom's voice as the plane was about to leave like a warning. Katja also points out that a scar she's had since she was a kid from a bone fracture has mysteriously disappeared since the morning of the flight. Alexei tries to reassure her, but then he gets a bad headache, making his hands shake again. Amid Katja and Alexei's conversation, Diana is seen talking to someone behind their seats. Diana tells Katja that she is talking to a girl. Katja quickly checks the area and catches a brief glimpse of a dark shape. Suddenly, an announcement informs them that the plane has to make an emergency landing in Novosibirsk because of the storm and a passenger's death. Katja feels worried because the same destination was involved in her previous plane crash. Diana starts crying, saying the mysterious girl warned her that Katja would leave when a man catches fire. Katja is confused by the girl's warning. Soon after, Nikolay, upset about the flight's detour, decides to smoke a cigarette despite the risk. Pavel and Katja try to stop him, but it's too late. Flammable liquid leaking from above ignites with his lighter, setting him on fire. Katja calls for help in panic and sees the old woman's presence in the flames engulfing Nikolay. Alexei quickly smothers the flames with a blanket and the flight attendants use an extinguisher to put out the fire. Alexei asks Katja to help Nikolay, who despite being in severe pain, is still alive. Katja suggests adjusting his seat to ease his breathing. Everyone on the plane becomes even more upset. Katja tells Alexei that her visions feel so real that she's starting to mix them up with what's happening. She's worried about Galina, who's been in the bathroom too long and knocks on the door. Even though Inessa says not to, Tatiana forces the door open, but they find it empty. Katja and Inessa argue. Inessa thinks Katja is seeing things and tells her to sit down while she and Tatiana search the plane. They then hear that they're going to land in Novosibirsk soon. Suddenly, Evgeny, who seems to be dead, reaches for Katja and she feels trapped by dark hands, falling back into row 19. Katja has a flashback to her childhood during the plane crash, seeing other passengers she hadn't noticed before. She wakes up, thinking the old woman's spirit wants her to stay in that row. She decides she must get to the cockpit for an escape route. She tries to take Diana, but she doesn't want to go. While everyone else argues, Alexei's eyes start bleeding and Tatiana throws up a clear liquid. Katja confronts Inessa, suspecting she knows more about the weird events because of her odd behavior and lack of concern. In the chaos, Katja grabs Pavel's sketchbook and sees he's drawn everything happening on the plane, including her visions. His latest sketch shows Katja heading to the cockpit exactly as she planned. Suddenly, Pavel turns to dust and the plane hits more turbulence. Despite reassurances from Anessa and Alexei, Katya and Diana rush the cockpit. An unseen force flings Anessa to the back, and Alexei starts bleeding profusely. Now, only Katya and Diana seem to be alive. They manage to open the cockpit door and find another cabin ahead. They keep moving through cabin after cabin as if trapped in a cycle. The final cabin is brighter. Katja notices Diana isn't by her side, but finds her sitting near a door at the cabin's end. As Katja moves towards her daughter, she confronts a dark figure, warning it to stay away from Diana. Rushing to Diana, Katja hears a voice. It's the old woman telling Katja she's still the seven-year-old girl from the crashing plane, and everything she's experienced isn't real. The old woman shows Katja a vision of a possible life had she survived the crash. Katja keeps trying to wake up from what she thought was a dream. Turns out the life she believed was hers as an adult is actually her imagination. The real moments are the childhood memories she's been having. Diana, whom she thought was her daughter, isn't real either. The old woman can no longer make Katja stay in this dream state. Katja is able to wake up to reality, and what happens next is up to her. When Katja finally gets to Diana, Diana hints that she'll see each other again if Katja remembers her advice. Katja understands that Diana's hint about sitting in row 19 is key to surviving the crash. Suddenly, Katja is back in the past as her younger self on the crashing plane. One by one, the other passengers lose consciousness and perish. Katja rushes to row 19 and takes a seat. The plane crashes to a lake and breaks apart, but the rear section, where row 19 is, stays mostly undamaged. Miraculously, Katja is the only one 
who survives the crash. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care and see you next time on Watch Time.